Hi, my name is Nicole Dennis, and I'd like to read my story to you today. Please leave the lights on. Oh my goodness, oh no, oh no. Mommy and Daddy said to bed I must go. I know that it's time and I really am sleepy, but I don't like the dark, to me it's so creepy. I'd rather stay here on the couch where it's bright than I will just wake up in the morning and miss the whole night. Daddy carries me upstairs and places me down. Mommy changes my clothes and puts me into my gown. Since I am already asleep, I never see the dark. I don't feel afraid and don't have to calm my heart. When I was a baby, I slept with the lights on. My parents read me stories until we all yawned. I'd curl up in a ball and I'd get tucked in tight. My parents would leave me and not touch my light. Now they say I'm a big girl and to just close my eyes tight. Every night I say I won't be afraid. I'll just shut my eyes and to sleep I will fade. When it is dark, I see shadows and they look really scary. It seems like they are about to reach out and grab me. Tonight is the night I won't feel any fear. I won't worry about what I think I see or what I think I hear. Since I am a big girl, I can do this, I can. To not be scared is the plan, so I can. I peek out of the covers and look around slowly. I focus my eyes to see what I can see. Is that a monster sitting in the corner? I look really hard. Oh, it's just my shelf with my books and birthday cards. And what about that? It looks like it's moving. Oh. That's just my fan spinning and cooling. What is that tapping? What's making that sound? I look left and then right and turn my head around. I think this is it. When the scary thing is coming, I want to jump out of my bed and hit the floor running. But what if the thing is hiding under my bed? Oh man, I think, and just put my hands on my head. I said I'd be brave, so let's figure this out. So far, nothing's happened, no reason to shout. I listen really close and see what's causing the sound. There's a squirrel on the windowsill looking around. So, maybe there really is nothing to fear. I haven't seen one really spooky thing in here. There is one last thing that I need to be sure of, that nothing is hiding under my bed on the floor. I take a deep breath and push the covers back to my feet. I lean over the bed and through my fingers I peek. I don't see a thing because both of my eyes are still squeezed closed. I open one, then the other, and just like I supposed, I can't see really clearly because it's still kind of dark but I do my best to focus and only see my toy shark. I didn't even realize I was holding my breath, so I breathe out really loudly and I yawn and I stretch. I'm looking through my left eye and then the right, but to my surprise, there's nothing in sight. So all of the things that made me scared in the darkness turned out to be nothing and totally harmless. There's nothing to run from and no reason to cry. The shadows and noises gave me no reason to hide. I no longer need to sleep with the light. I get into my bed like a big girl at night. I hope you enjoy my story. Can't wait to read again with you soon. The end.